Hi amazing people, this is Christianity over Islam with Sam Shimon and on today's episode of this amazing debate, Sam Shimon debates the female Muslims on Quran's wife beating. Let's watch this amazing video to get more details. Actually, he showed me some links that was related to Islam and uh, that was not true. Like so what? I explained him. What was like true? The, okay, he sent me a link and uh, it says in, the, uh, in that link that uh, Islam says to promote, you know, uh, beating women and everything. Yes, that's so in Surah Anissa. Open it up. Do you have your Quran? Uh, I I don't have a Quran right now, but um, you know the voice, every voice in Quran, it is not, you know, the meaning is not literal. Well, it, if, it I is not the hadith, if I give you the Sorry? hadith of your prophet and I give you the commentators, they explain it that you can oh, beat oh, your wife. Oh, okay, okay. I understand what you're trying to say, but it is not entirely true. It says in Quran to beat them only, only if you know they welcome other men. So they're you're married, so well, well, they're slow, they're not slow, married, but young lady, slow down. You're speaking too fast. Mm -hmm. So you're saying you mm -hmm. can only beat them if you feel rebellion. So you're admitting a woman can be beat, right? Not it. It, it also says it all. It also explains in Hadith that there is a word written next to it, which means lightly. It means no, that you can strike not. the women no, lightly, and it only belongs okay. to that era. Young lady, like the young lady, mm -hmm. yeah. No, it doesn't. I've studied your deen and I've studied your hadiths. Sad Bukhari says that a woman was mm -hmm. beaten so bad she had a green mark on her body. This is what they've taught you. No, that's not true. I know this is what they teach you, but that's okay. But even beat lightly. So you're looking mm -hmm. forward to the day that you get married to a man. And if he fears you're rebellious, you're okay with him to beat you lightly? Can you beat him lightly too? Let me, no, 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 you are getting it wrong. Let me, what you are I'm getting wrong? I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. No, okay, okay, let me answer to your question. No, I won't, I won't allow it. You won't allow it, but how can you? It's not your right. It's, it's my, it's only, you know, let me release again. The only thing that is mentioned in, you know, the ayat, the voice from Quran, it says that you can beat them lightly. It's not like no, it hitting them lightly, or beating the them properly. No, the Quran doesn't say lightly. That's the Arabic word is idrbuhunna. It doesn't say lightly. No, no, no. Like the, the Quran, the every ayat, it has different meaning. Okay. And there is a book written which explains every verse written in Quran. I and have the hadith book, of your prophet. I have the hadiths of your prophet. Your prophet says okay, no. Okay, okay, okay. The source, the source is authenticated. Yes, it's Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sahih, Sahih. It's Sahih. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Okay. Now here, before okay. I give you that hadith, this is a uh, Azbab al Nuzul al Wahdi. He's going to give you some hadiths. I just sent you the link. Azbab al Nuzul. That means the reason why the ayah was sent down. Azbab al Nuzul means the mm -hmm. reason why it's sent down. Nuzul, mm -hmm. right? Sayyid Muqattal, this verse, men are in charge of women, was revealed about Sa'ad ibn al-Rabbi, who was one of the leaders of the helpers, Nuqaba, and his wife Habiba bin Zayed ibn Abi Zuhair, both of whom from the helpers, Ansari. It happened, Sa'ad hit his wife on the face because she rebelled against them. Sa'ad hit his wife on the face. Then her father went with her, to see the prophet he said to him i give him my daughter in marriage and he slapped her the prophet now pay attention said let her have retaliation against her husband as she was leaving with her father to execute retaliation the prophet called him and said come back gabriel jibril has come to me and allah exalted as he revealed this ayah this verse right the messenger of allah said we wanted something while allah wanted something else and that which allah wants is good Retaliation was then sus suspended. Did you understand what I just read? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let me see if you did. When the woman got slapped in the face, the man, the husband slapped her in the face. It wasn't lightly. The father went to Mo Muhammad, your prophet, and he goes, okay, get the retaliation. But then the ayah came saying, no, the man has every right to slap his wife. So where'd you get lightly from this? And I have more. I just want to see where'd you get lightly. So if I slap you in the face, that's light? Okay, I, I need you to finish whatever you are saying first and I'll go. Okay, don't don't twist because if you lie, your seat will be in the hellfire. Stuck for Allah. You don't want to be hellfire. Okay, let me read to you. One more. Mm -hmm. Sayyid ibn Muhammad ibn Ahmed al-Zahid informed us, Zahir ibn Ahmed, Ahmed ibn al-Hussein, 
Ibn Junaid, Ziyad Ibn Ayyub, Hushayim, this is the Sunnah, Yunus Ibn al Hassan reported that a man slapped his wife and she complained about him to the Prophet. Her family went with her, said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, so and so slapped our girl. The Prophet kept saying, Retaliation, retaliation. And there's no other judgment to be held. But then this verse, men are in charge of women, was revealed. And the Prophet said, We wanted something, and Allah wanted something else. All right, guys, this is the part where this video gets more interesting. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so and hit the notification button to be notified each time we post a new video. Let's get back to this video to get more details. Abu Bakr al Harithi informed us Abu Sheikh al Hafiz, Abu Yahya al Razi, Sahil al Askari, Ali ibn Hashim, Ismail al Hassan, who said, Around the time when the verse on retaliation was revealed amongst the Muslims, a man had slapped his wife. She went to the Prophet and said, My husband has slapped me and I want retaliation. So he said, Let there be retaliation. As he was still dealing with her, Allah revealed men are in charge of women because Allah had made the one of them to excel the other. Upon which the Prophet said, We wanted something and my Lord wanted something different. Oh man, take your wife by the hand. So Allah said, no, she cannot retaliate. The man has a right to slap her. So do you know more than your prophet? Go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> I understand everything you said. Okay. You just said. So you okay with that? I'm not okay with that, but I did not know about the thing you said or end of the year and everything. But I have to search it up and Google it up, everything, and, you know, go through the year to understand. There's, there's, there's always a, you know, there's always an explanation or a reason behind it. Of course, you're brainwashed. There's, so there's a good explanation for a man to beat you. You see, you are very brainwashed to think there's a good explanation. You I'm see? not, I'm not, I'm not brainwashed. Allah, I, I, you know, you have to, you have to go, you have to go into the desert, everything before believing it, you know. Oh, so you, you mean when I go to everything. the tafsir and I go to the sunnah and I go to the mufassirin. Oh, but I still need explanation. Come on, don't deceive yourself. Can did I you me? did you Google did you Google it up why why did I Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this? Wait wait Sal Salad upon him what you say? Why he said it? Yeah he said I it saw, because I just gave yeah. it. Yeah. Did you hear why? I just read to you why when a man yeah, slapped I, his wife and uh, Muhammad said get retaliation. I said no because men are in charge of women they can beat their wives. What are you asking? I just gave you the reason. You didn't give me the reason. I gave it to you. As Babel Nuzul. So do you know the can reason? You, can it, I, uh, okay, okay, okay. I, I understand okay, okay. you came with the preparation. You, you know, you searched it up. You what have research? everything. You have to see it and everything. But I didn't know about it. But you know, okay, now let me give everything. you Bukhari. Narrated Iqrima, Rifa, divorced his wife. So Rifa divorced his wife. Whereupon Abdurrahman bin Az Zubair Al Qurazi married her. Aisha okay. said that the lady came wearing a green veil and complained to her of her husband and showed her a green spot of her skin caused by beating. He hit her so hard he left a bruise. And you'll read it later, you'll see I didn't make it up. It was the habit of ladies to support each other. So when Allah's Messenger came, now pay attention to this. This is Aisha, right? Then I'm going to ask you something about Aisha. When Allah's Messenger came, Aisha said, I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. Look. Her skin is greener than her clothes. So she's upset, Aisha, because this woman got beat and the man left a bruise on her body. And look what she said here. It's in the comment section. I'll pull right there. I just put it for you. You see it? Okay, I can see it. Okay, can now see you it. see Now look what she said. Look! Her skin is greener than her clothes. And look what she said. I have not seen any woman suffering as much as the believing woman. In other words, the Muslim woman, they suffered more than unbelieving women. That's Aisha, not me. Now watch here. When Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman heard that his wife had gone to the Prophet, he came with his two sons from another wife. She said, by Allah, I have done no wrong to him, but he is impotent. Impotent means he can't be intimate with her in bed. And is as useless to me as this, holding and showing the fringe of her garment. Abdurrahman said, Wallahi, by Allah, O oh Allah's Messenger, she has told a lie. I am very strong and can satisfy her, but she is disobedient. That's what the ayah says, if you fear rebellion and wants to go back to Rifa'ah, she wants to go to her first husband. Allah's Messenger said to her, if that is your intention, then know that it is unlawful for you to remarry Rifa'ah unless Abdurrahman 
has had sexual intercourse with you. Then the Prophet saw two boys with Abdurrahman and asked, Are these your sons? On that, Abdurrahman said, Yes. The Prophet said, now he's talking to the wife. You claim what you claim, i.e. that he's impotent? Wallahi, but by Allah, these boys resemble him as a crow resembles a crow. Did you see your prophet said nothing to the man about beating her so hard that he left a bruise on her body? Said nothing. He rebukes her for accusing him of not being able to satisfy her. So you okay if your this, husband beats you and leaves you a bruise on your body? This is this is the whole story here, gents. Here's the story like is of a man named Brady. Are you okay with a man beating a woman and leaving a mark on her body? I am asking you the story you copy pasted here that you know. Do you know what the story was? Did you hear it? You read it. I heard you and I read it as well. I am asking if it is the complete story. If it is. Yes, it's the complete story. Bukhari narrated. Do you want me to call Bukhari and Jen and I ask know, him? I know. Okay, I know. I know Bukhari. Bukhari. Okay. So why I he know. hit her? He hit her because she was rebellious and wanted to go back to her first husband. Do okay. you read it right there? First, right? Uh, okay. Can can I talk now? It depends. If you're gonna lie, then I'm gonna have to get uh, a Muslim man to okay. beat you. Go ahead. You are you are a professor, okay? Even if I'm gonna lie, you're gonna know of course that I'm lying or something. Okay, whatever you are. Yes. I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you an explanation. If you don't if you think I'm lying, just don't believe it. Okay. okay? Yeah. Waiting for first your explanation. First of all, okay. First of all, I believe in Quran. Okay, I I believe in Hadith too, but I I go through many sources to believe the source if the source is authenticated or not. The Sahih Bukhari, there are many Hadiths in Sahih Bukhari which is not entirely true. No, that's a okay. lie. So, You're lying. No, no. No, it's no, no. Let me correct uh, you. No. Let You're me lying. let me finish. No, let sister, finish. sister, I'm gonna get you out of here for lying to me. She's lying through her teeth. No Muslim says there's any weak Hadith in Bukhari. They're all Sahih, but some are Ahad. So she thinks I'm stupid. Now I'm going to just prove to you she's a liar. I'm going to now quote a Muslim scholar. I'm going to give her now Sheikh Asim Al-Hakim, who says to these Muslims who lie about Bukhari, if there's any weak hadith in Bukhari. See, so th I can't deal with liars. Shame on you. You're 22. You want to lie to me because you want to defend your prophet, having women like you beaten and treated like prostitutes. Shame on you. Don't ever lie to me again. Here, let me have uh, Asim tell you. Muhammad Muskhan Khan in his translation says, that people tried to find fault with Bukhari and they could not find a single mistake in Bukhari. Why are you lying to me, young lady? Uh, he says that First of all, our Hold on, listen to Sheikh Asim to tell you you're a liar. Sahih al-Bukhari, authentic. The hadith of Bukhari and Muslim are all authentic. Did you hear that? Did you hear what he said? I'm giving her the scholar, it says, for someone who's not a scholar, they're all authentic. She still wants to argue with the scholars. So Jericho, you got to tell your friend to go, buddy. But it was a good conversation. All right, welcome back, guys. I believe you were able to learn something new from this amazing debate. It is disgusting that women are the ones coming out to defend this kind of a thing. Does a husband have the right from Allah to beat his wife? Well, from the video, the answer is yes. She admitted that you can only beat your wife in the case of rebellion when the wife is being rebellious to the husband, saying if you can beat her, likely so can the woman also beat the husband the man lightly sam shaman went ahead to explain that such retaliation was abolished by muhammad after he first of all gave the woman the go ahead to retaliate but when the woman left the presence of the prophet and she was going back home the prophet called her back and told her that an angel just appeared to her i mean to him that um, such practices is not allowed that the retaliation of the wife to retaliate after being beaten by the husband is no longer a practice in Islam. So the husband have the permission to beat the wife, but the wife does not have the permission to retaliate. And then Aisha even said that there is no woman that suffers more than a believing woman after a woman was beaten until her skin became green like her clothes. So you can see now that from this uh, hadith or this part of the Quran, that is not a light beating. Beating somebody until her skin changes is not a light beating as claimed by this woman. Guys, let us know what you think about this debate in the comment section and also don't forget to share, to like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.